Well, Durham police are investigating stolen catalytic converters from buses at the Durham Boys and Girls Club. CBS 17's Derek Lewis is live in Durham with details on how the community is pitching in to help. Staff left Durham's Boys and Girls Club this afternoon in their personal cars to go pick up students. Even though, you know, some of them have some older cars and it puts mileage on their vehicles, they're working through it. Benet Hicks, the director of operations, tells me that's what they have to do to get children to the after school location. On Monday, the bus drivers noticed something wrong. The buses were making horrible noises. I've learned that over the weekend, someone stole four catalytic converters from the two buses at the club. When Corky Payne, the owner of Bull City Radiator, found out what happened, he said he had to do something. He's going to put the converters in the buses for free. I've been in business since 1977 and just got to give back to the community. Payne tells me thieves can make a quick $300 for a converter. However, it's costing the victims so much more. They are ruthless. You know, they, they don't care. You know, they, they, there's a van right there from Greystone Baptist Church they stole the converters from. So they don't care who they steal from. It don't matter. Now, with the community's help, Hicks tells me the Boys and Girls Club will save thousands of dollars. She hopes this doesn't happen again. It's hurt us to know that somebody would take that from us, but hopefully they, um, hopefully they end up either uh, thinking twice next time or they get caught by police. Well, Advance Auto is going to pay for the four stolen converters once those parts arrive. Payne says his guys will fix them the same day so the buses can get back out on the road. Also new, within the last 10 minutes, we have learned that the Durham Bulls are donating all of their proceeds from tomorrow's game to repay Advanced Auto.